Hey, it's Austin. I'm going to show you how to rebuild a TO4E turbo in this video. <clears throat> Basically, the TO4E turbos are the same as there's the Garrett, there's PT, there's Turbonetics, and some of them are really similar. Some have like really weird parts in them that are kind of hard to find, which usually we can supply. So basically, the first thing you want to do is make sure the bearing housing is good. So you're going to make sure that it's not grooved inside the seats. And then you're going to take the rear seal and shove it in the back here to make sure that there's a minimal gap on the piston ring seal. The next thing you're going to do is check and make sure that the front of the, this plate can still be used. If not, we can help you find a new one. And you're going to put the piston seal in here to make sure that the gap's minimal also. So to start with the rebuild, you want to make sure you clean this really well. In this case, I pressure washed this out and everything. And uh, so <clears throat> you're going to put the C-clips in here. And real quick, I just want to help you with the diagnosis. If your turbo is blowing oil, you don't know why, maybe you rebuilt it three or four times and you have the same result. The reason or the thing you need to check first is are you using restrictor and uh, you shouldn't be using a restrictor. And the second thing is uh, the oil drain. Is What is the inside diameter of your oil drain? Okay, so the main problem with this is the oil drain sizes are too small, and here's the reason why. If people are having fittings like this, the drain size is like 12 millimeter inside diameter. That's too small. The factory drains are usually like 16 millimeter, which is fine, but uh, usually what we're seeing is that these fittings are too small, causing a drainage problem where it'll even blow out this gasket and it'll even blow out this gasket, the oil pressure will, because it's getting, like there, the oil has nowhere to go. It's not able to drain. So then people put a restrictor on here. And the problem with that is now you're starving the turbo of oil when the real problem is that the oil is not draining out well enough. So what you wanna do is check the inside diameter of this, at least 16 millimeter inside diameter if not, sometimes you can pour them out or you just need another fitting. And usually we see that problem from people that uh, have a drain fitting from Extreme PSI or even from eBay, which is kind of common. All right, so on with the rebuild. Uh, the first thing you want to do is put the C-clips in here. So the way I do this is you'll have the loped edge and you want that to be on the bearing side. So you're going to take it and I usually push it down so far with my finger and kind of compress it a little bit so you don't scar up the bearing seat. And then I'll take a screwdriver and hold the back end of it. So I'm, a, I'm regulating how far this C-clip can go down so I don't push it all the way through. And then I'll take my special pliers and compress the C-clip until it goes into place. And it's really that easy to get those C-clips in there. The, the other thing is you got to take a pair of pliers. I think I got these at Walmart. I just ground them down. So now I'm going to air this out again just to be careful. So after you install both C-clips, you're going to install the journal bearings, but you want to add some oil into the bearing housing. Uh, we also do sell this rebuild kit on Amazon, so I'll link to that below. And there's actually two different versions of this kit, so I'll share with you what the two different versions are. So there's a standard 360 degree thrust bearing, which it, this is usually the most one we have listed. 
Uh, here's the three oil port thrust bearing. This one is an upgrade, but it's not always usable. Uh, the reason why it's not always usable is because it requires just the dowel pins. You can't bolt this down. So for this one, you can bolt this down and use the dowel pins. But another thing to note is if you're bolting this down, you can't use this piece, which goes in the back of the uh, compressor plate. So if you're using this piece, the three oil port, you have to use this piece too, because I think this retains the thrust fairing back in. I'm not really sure about that. But this is called the oil deflector. So you're going to put this bevel down so the smooth side is facing the bearing. And then you're going to make sure that it's completely seated. Next, you're, you're going to put the rear bearing in. So we already have the rear cage in. So I just squirt some oil down in there. Throw the bearing in. And then install the C-clip. So next what you're going to do is uh, you're going to prepare for the thrust bearing to go on. So you're going to put the thrust collar in this pocket. Sometimes this does have to be cut out, but very rarely for the larger collar. In this turbo, I'm going to use the three oil thrust bearing. Since it does have those dowel pins. And next, we install the oil deflector in the compressor plate. Some of these already have that. You can just change it out, which comes in our kit. So next, you're going to install the front piston ring seal. Make sure you put some oil under the seal also. And you can just install that right into the plate. So next, install this seal. Which in this case, I'm going to have to stretch it just a little bit. And then you can put some oil on that, that seal. Now install the compressor plate. This doesn't matter which way it goes, but usually we put the the part with the tag where the tag goes down. 
So now you're going to install Loct Loctite on the bolts. And these will hold down the compressor plate. And these are usually a 10 millimeter, sometimes they're 3 8 It just depends on where you got your turbo from. I think usually PTE uses 3 8 Also for the compressor plate that I use, because I had to replace everything besides the bearing housing, uh, I actually had to buy one and then I machined it. If you do need help with that, just let me know and I can make you a compressor plate. So I blasted and cleaned the heat shield and it's now to install, time to install the piston ring seal. <clears throat> Make sure you get some oil un under the seal. In case you do need a replacement shaft for this turbo, uh, it, it's a P-trim turbine, so it's 65 millimeter by 74 millimeter. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to do something that you probably don't see done very often, and that's install a two millimeter super back wheel. Now this turbo came with this this style wheel. This is a five blade. Uh, 5 blade 35 r wheel anyway i'm going to saw a two millimeter wheel on a five millimeter super back compressor plate the reason why is because it's near impossible to get this two millimeter compressor plate though i'm currently having some made so since i can't get those uh, you can use a two millimeter wheel and a two millimeter thrust spacer from a to4e rebuild kit now, some of the kits have a different style thrust spacer. This one's currently different than our rebuild kit. However, I'm trying to get these again so that we can have this option. This is just one I, I had. And when you do that, you can use this compressor wheel and you can have it properly spaced out for the compressor housing. So another thing that people have a hard time with is getting the compressor wheel to go on. And you can actually fix that with a torch. By the way, this billet wheel only weighs 90 
2.8 grams, which is pretty light. Not really sure what the factory wheel weighs, but uh, the other billet wheels, that I, other billet wheel options that I had, there were one was a hundred and <clears throat> one was a hundred and uh, four grams. The other one was a hundred and eleven. The eleven blade weighed the most. And then the six blade was 104 grams. Now after all that, it's very simple just to install the compressor housing, but I guess in case you want to see what it looks like with the compressor housing installed. <clears throat> oh yeah, don't forget the O-ring for the compressor housing. That is the final product. Thanks for watching.